Hi, what you're seeing is the uh, station building and all of the passenger platform lighting has been completed. All that remains are the street lights on the bridges, which are a whole nother story. Right now I'm walking around to give you a good view of all the uh, lighting and you can see the glow in the uh, upper level of the building and you can see some of the outside lights, both in the main entry and then the uh, covered walkway. And that's true for both sides. You can also see, here's all the platform lighting here, going off on the right, out to an RPO that's sitting out here at the end of the platform. And as we drift back, you can be able to see a little bit more as I kind of move around. You can see the lighting from the uh, lower entry. And then we'll continue to walk around. In the second portion of the video, I take a uh, long distance shot from the end of the peninsula. And then we'll walk around to the back to give you an idea of what it looks like back there. Um, there may be some light leaks here and there, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. First of all, you, I'm not tall enough to see down into the roof, but uh, the key thing is to look at the, how it shows up on the, like the sides, like the, uh, the upper and lower entries, the exit areas, uh, the glow inside the building, which is really all I wanted to, uh, to show uh, with the lighting on the uh, main structure. Um, but I, I think overall I'm pretty pleased with the modularity of the Just Plug system, and I just wanted to share this with you. The next part, we will uh, talk about the plan and how it was executed using the Just Plug system. What I wanted to show you in this video is the uh, plan that I had for the uh, overall project for the station itself. Uh, you'll notice uh, I have the power up here in the upper right. It's showing I'm using uh, 940 milliamps. Um, and that's had to be calculated because there's only a thousand milliamps output in the power supply but anyway um, I have one two three uh, the EXH which are the expansion hubs and then there are 11 of the LHs which are the light hubs and then on each one it shows what I've got uh, attached to each one um, the, for example, the platform lights are all, and if you look over on the left side, you'll see uh, the number of connections, and I used uh, 5740, uh, they're the stick-on lights. The walkway and the stairs, which are five connections, are the uh, smaller, uh, the 5743s, they kind of look like a light bulb. Um, and all of those lights have the same types of connections uh, that they plug in, which I'll show you next. The station building has 14 connections on the, so there's six on each floor, four inside, and two each on the center doors, uh, and that's both on the bottom floor and the top floor. The main difference is on the uh, upper floor, there are uh, the uh, covered walkways, and those have the uh, two of those stick-on 5740 lights. The bridge lights, we'll worry about that another time. They're a little different uh, than the, uh, the lights that I used on the station building and the platform. So, but anyway, that's uh, where we are with the lighting, and uh, we'll move on to the next. We will now do a uh, quick overview of the uh, control panel that is mounted uh, just uh, 
at my staging level. You'll notice all the uh, white plugs. Those are called the uh, splicer plugs, and they are from uh, the Just Plug system. Um, all the connections have been made, and I have a, a couple open at the end, but uh, I've used up most of the uh, managed power. So, but anyway, that's it for now. Bye. Thank you.